Hi right, guys, Joy Sean back at it again. Today we are in an absolutely beautiful Sichuan restaurant. Now, Sichuan cuisine can be known for being a little bit spicy, but it's also extremely flavorful. You can definitely tell this place is a Sichuan restaurant because all the pandas we've got about the place. Chengdu in Sichuan, very famous for its panda reserves. And yeah, I'm excited for the food we're going to have today. Uh, we've got a lot of really delicious looking things coming. So, uh, aye, let's get stuck in it. Alright guys, doesn't that look amazing? This is a cold chicken noodle salad. You saw we dressed it in there like a, a sauce of like chilli and vinegar, sesame, that's so, so good. Mm. So much flavour. If you haven't had cold noodles before, they're very, very popular here in China. And they're delicious, you know? Refreshing, cooked perfectly, always with a really delicious either vinegar or oil-based sauce that goes over them. Fantastic. Really good. Um, the Chinese name for it actually translates to the couple's lung um, because it's a couple of people, man and wife, who invented this dish in Chengdu and uh, that's what they named it, you know, but uh, luckily you don't need to have couples added to the dish to, to make it. So there's a lovely bit of lung right there, let's give it a try. It's got a texture a bit like tripe. It doesn't have a lot of flavour of its own. It's okay though, a bit chewy. Yeah, very spicy though, very spicy. Alright, here we've got a peppercorn fish. Look, there's so much fish in there. Tell you what, in Chinese, this dish is called Damai, which literally translates to the marijuana fish. I'm starting to see why. Feelings in my mouth and in my brain. The more I eat of it, yeah, it's definitely aptly named. Definitely got a num num tongue. Num 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 tongue. All right, guys. Now this might be a dish that uh, you might recognise the name of if you're from the west. And this is kung pao chicken. But this is lychee flavour or lychee flavour. I'm excited about this one. I want to see if it actually tastes like lychee. Ooh. Ooh. That's really good. Mmm. You got those mala chilies in it as well. So you're still getting that numbing flavour. But uh, it is very, very sweet. Really delicious though. Mmm. Alright, so here. Yeah. We've got some dry fried green beans, the garlic, the mala chilies, and this look, they just look so appetizing. We've got the peppercorns in there. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Oh wow. Salty. Spicy. Crispy on the outside from that dry frying. 
caramelized, a green green flavor, so so good with all those extra spices, the garlic. Really, really delicious. Really good. I'm definitely going to enjoy these. Alright guys, so here I have what they call a hot pot dessert. Now it's not hot, but it is a pot. Inside, they've got this jelly. Alright, and this jelly is a signature of uh, Sichuan and Chengdu cuisine because it's extremely good at cooling down your spicy mouth, you know. So, we'll get some, uh, we'll get some fruit. Some of the jelly, something from over here. There we go. All right. Now, you guys know, I've said it before, I'm not the biggest fan of jelly. But this jelly in particular, I'm okay with because it's got such a loose consistency. It's like barely even holding itself together. And when you eat it, it just coats your whole mouth. It doesn't break down into all those tiny little pieces of jelly like, uh, like it does when you've had it at home. So, let's, uh, let's see if we can break up a piece. Oh, there we go. Oh, thinking about it. It's slippery. There we go. Got a bit of the jelly, bit of the fruit, bit of the milk. I think it might be condensed milk. Evaporated milk even in there. Let's have a try. Mm. Yeah, refreshing. Very, very light. Yeah, I can see why they like it so much. The jelly itself's got a little bit of a rose flavor to it. Really nice. Mm. Well, that was an adventure, wasn't it? <laughs> Definitely uh, haven't had my mouth through that up from uh, the Mala Spice before. It was, uh, it was definitely a, a sensation. All around my lips were buzzing. Um, and I mean that literally, it did, it felt like they were almost vibrating. Very strange sensation, but enjoyable nonetheless. Um, I have to say my top picks from here were definitely the green beans. They were fabulous, I couldn't stop eating them. And the, uh, the cold chicken salad as well. That was really, really, really good. Um, all in all, delicious meal, lovely atmosphere. Reasonably priced at about 460 kwai, which comes out at about 48 pounds. And I mean, you saw the amount of food that we had. Absolutely insane. Portion sizes here are enormous. But uh, yeah, I'd definitely come back here. Spot on. I'll see you guys next time. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Draw.